Oh, so sick. Control to the speed. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nice one, Alex. Where you want to essentially treat it like a Berman. Keep on going and stuff, going back straight with the bike. <laughs> As I'm coming in, I can see the leap of the second small step down. Rider number six. Oh, sick. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video of our BC bike trip. I'm with my buddy Alexandre Chapelier here in Riverstock. The last video was on Riverstock Mountain Resort. This time it's in the valley. This video is brought to you by Tourism Riverstock and we're gonna start by riding two iconic trails. First one, Boondocker, and then we're gonna make our way to Gravy Bacon. All these trails are legal. You can find them on Trail Forks. They were built and maintained by Riverstock Cycling Association, RCA. I'm gonna put a link in the description and you can uh, make a donation if you feel like it. It's really appreciated if you ride those trails often. Now let's have fun. Thanks a lot, Sam. He gave us the second lift of the day. Also landed us his dog, Mika. It's gonna be a fun lap, but we'll see you at the bottom for the next one. Yeah, see Thanks you a lot. Unfortunately, Mika has gone somewhere, yeah. but uh, the dog has a GPS tracking, so Sam knows where it is, we uh, we just don't know where she's gone, so. Hopefully we find her. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, boy. Okay, Boondocker, first lap. Oh yeah. Woo Try to take a different line, he doesn't see that log. Oh yeah, it's a bit greasy here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so sick, though. <laughs> That's so cool. Totally different trails than what we just did. Yeah, what we just did was not nearly as slippery and it's on my road channel, go check it out. Oh. Wow, insane. That was incredible. Huh? Insane. So much fun. Slippery, eh? Yes. Woo. Dude, that was so oh epic on top. So many line trusses. Oh, insane. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Mika! Mika! Yeah, man. Oh, so sick. Alex is a shredder. Huh? Yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, big compression, eh? On my wrist. <laughs> I tried to gap oh. and uh, I don't even know if that was a landing, if I could have done anything better, if I'd gone faster. That was deep. Yeah, I was on the side of you and whoo. Oh boy. Okay, so hot dog, all the way. Big jumps plus blind landing. Equal, make some noise. Yeah, make sure no one is there. Yeah. So Sam told us to go left, but he says there's some pretty uh, consequential jumps. So maybe let's have a look.
yes. Yeah, you want to know, I will have landed next to the landing if yeah. I didn't uh, yeah. look at it. It's through the side, eh? Yeah, it's a nice little transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then same one, but That's other good. side. Oh, Sam! We lost the dog, did you find it? Yeah, yeah, she's way down. Okay, you've got her on the GPS, eh? Okay, 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 good. Okay, so the first two jumps, little double skipper. And, uh, oh wow. Well, that's long, huh? It's long. That's a long jump. What's the speed like? Um, fast. I'd say, like, you gotta make that double there and then push in the landing. Yeah. And then, yeah, just pop. You can case it a bit ish. Ah, I'll try to make it smooth. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a long landing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Huh? Alex? Yeah? Should I go first or you go first? You should go first. Okay, cool. <laughs> then you film. You guys yeah. don't do rock, paper, scissors for that? <laughs> no, <laughs> we should start doing that. Yeah, eh? <laughs> first attempt of the full line. Set up here. All right. Nice. Control the speed. Whoa! Whoa. A bit longer on the first one. Just before the rod. <laughs> yeah, I went big on the first one and I actually I shut down the speed a lot. I scrubbed the little skipper jump. Slowed down a lot. Still went still went big though. Super deep. But uh, because I went so big on the first one, my speed was super dialed for the second one. <laughs> when you're coming in, it's super blind. Where do you aim? So, you could look at the one of the tree in front of you, mm -hmm. which gives you the line, but it doesn't give you the distance. So I look at the ferns yeah. on the landing, because that way it gives me the line, but also how far I need to go. Yeah. So if you see the fern, you need to go like a couple feet behind that. It's a little hip too, so it kind of gives you that curve. Yeah, you can really see it when you come in. You better at slowing down, being super tall on your bike, yeah. so you can adjust. And then once you know the line, you know the speed, you're going to your ready yeah. position and pull a bit uh, of a bunny up. Sick. But if you want, I go first. Yeah. That way you can follow me down All it. All right, let's try. Okay, Whew. Alex is going to follow me down. Because I've already done the jump, I can hopefully give him the right speed. And he doesn't have to worry too much about it. Really good. Uh, Thanks a lot for filming. Yeah, yes. Pleasure. How did you feel? So good, man. Just after I landed the first big one, I already got close to you. Yeah. And you know how you catch up to people in the air. Yeah. So I braked, tagged the second big one, but then there's so much room for the last one. Yeah. And you Just see, so I was going slow. I'll rather go fairly slow yeah. and pull a big bunny out oh, yeah. to clear the landing than go too fast. Because once you go too fast, uh -huh. On a blind step down like this, it's really hard to scrub your speed up. Yeah. No, it it's easier to go almost a bit slow and reach. Yeah, because yeah, those are quite blind. So those marks we gave each other, like in terms of where to land, yeah. will really help. It really helps. Huh? Yeah. Even the wooden stick I put on the second one, yeah. because it's so blind, when you come into it, you can see the wooden stick on the side, you're like, okay, the I'm landing good. is at, at this level, yeah. right? So. Sick. Well, Sick, dude. Let's, uh, let's go before the rain. Yeah, totally. Yeah, boy. Okay, following Alex, it's the second time. I'm gonna leave him a bit of space. Slow here. Okay, I'm catching up, so I'm gonna slow down. Catching up. Haha! <laughs> 
There's something special about jumping and breaking as hard as you can. Uh, that's pretty cool, huh? Good job, dude. <laughs> Let's keep going on Mundoka. Ah, oh, uphill. That's <laughs> sick. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Let's just do a GoPro check. Oh, all good. Yeah, go for it. It's not running that hard, so. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, now we're gonna make our way to gravy bacon. All right. That's what Sam told us. On to the famous gravy bacon. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice one, Alex. Nice save, buddy. It's funny how sometimes you make one mistake like this and that just like affects your, con your confidence for the next few seconds, like big time. As a six save, though. Oh, you don't save. Yeah, how are you feeling? Good. Cool. We, we are dancing. Yeah. Gravy bacon, second part. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look. Right. There's a hip and a drop. You do the drop, I do the hip? Hip. I do the drop, you do the hip? Yeah. Okay, Alex gonna do the drop. And miss a hip. <laughs> yeah, very similar to the one-up hip. And check out on the right, Alex. Yeah, Let's try to go really fast before the rain. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. Wow. Really steep rock face. That's so nice. Big wall ride. Look at that, huh? Looks so playful. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Up, you don't slap. Okay, onto that crazy looking feature. Yeah. Oh, it's super fun. Okay, I'm gonna follow Alex down it and we're gonna make our way back to Gravy Bacon. Following Alex now. Yo, that was sweet. So despite the fact that it's really well built, you don't want to do it when it's wet. Because regardless how good are your tires, how tight are your skills, it will be a lot of risk. Back on gravy bacon. Oh wow, okay. Well, should definitely check this out. Okay, let's do it right before the rain. Oh wow. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a good like a feet drop. That's beautiful. And then we've got a shark fin, which is what we talked about on the last bike park video in the Riverstock Resort, where you want to essentially treat it like a berm and mm -hmm. keep on going instead of going back straight with the yeah. bike. Cool. That's beautiful. Okay, gonna try that little uh, drop, hip step down, whatever it's called. Nice, it's actually really smooth. Woo. That's sweet. And we got a nice double and some more woodwork down there. 
Alex on the first drop, corner. Yeah. Woo! Such a cool feature. Yes, Bobby. Okay, following Alex down the drop and the shaft feed. I try to be close, but safe. Nice. Sick. Alex definitely needs a bit more pressure on his tire. Whoa. <laughs> Sick. I think you, you are burping your tire into that I, corner. I burped on the landing of the second hip. On the rear tire. On the rear too? Yeah. I burped both. Yeah, that's what I like about Daniel casing is that they just give you so much support. You yeah. can run lower PSI. And when there's like big compression like this, especially sideways, it makes the bike feel, you know, yeah. safer. It's also I had lower down the pressure because it was kind of slick at the top. Yeah. And now on the hard pack, kind of more dirt jumpy stuff. Yeah, there is more damping on a Daniel casing tire. And that's why I run a Maxxis DH casing on the back and just a double down on the front because I'm light enough and I want to save some weight, even though today we didn't pedal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Michael? Yes, let's do it. Oh, terrible line. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my rear there. I actually pay my rear there. I buy some Shimano XT on competitive cyclist. You can do the same using the link in the description that supports my channel. I might have vented it actually. <laughs> ah, that's so sick. Okay. Yes, we could have gone first go. Yeah, we could have done it, Brian, but let's do it. Yeah, I smack you there, my dear. It looks okay from behind. Yeah. Okay, let's do that little gap. Slippery. I think just it's been so dry for so long. Oh wow! Hey Alex, look what I just saw on the left. That's an old relic. Some free ride relic, yeah. Definitely not gonna do that. But here's a bit of uh, free ride history. Remy, you sure you can't pull a little bunny up there? I mean, I'm sure you could start from here actually. Well, there's a ladder. Okay, let's go back down yeah. for another day. Okay, let's finish that trail. Start with the skinny and the French corner. Yeah, Alex. Yo, yeah, buddy. Woo. Again. Okay, I'm gonna go for a small one. <laughs> wow. So I'm gonna redo the bigger drop, come into that corner, and then we get a completely blind step down. But as I'm coming in, I can see the leap of the second small step down, and I know I only have to jump an extra meter from it. So that way, I should be able to judge the speed correctly. Oh, and after that, by the way, there is a step up triple, and I haven't gone and look at it, so we'll see if uh, I feel the speed when I come into it. With the rain, obviously, we are pretty limited with the timing. Okay, I'm going to try to finish that line if I can actually see. 
drop. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can't see much, but that'll do it for today. And it's actually extremely slippery as well. Okay, back on track. <laughs> nice well I'm not sure viewers can see anything with that rain but myself I can't see much And that's it. Sick, How epic was that? Oh man. River Stock will definitely be oh, back. Yeah. Okay, we found Mika the dog. Big shout out to Sam for the lift up and also not being mad at us for losing Mika. But here we are, day number four in River Stock. This time we're gonna ride Frisbee DH. You'll see the video on my road channel. Big shout out to the River Stock Cycling Association because the trails are absolutely awesome. See you next week.